What's up guys, my name is Section from the Deviants and today we're going to be reacting to Fruits Basket episode 8. So in the last episode we got a depressing uh, episode with Hattori. Basically Toru was called by Hattori to go to the Soma estate so that he could talk to her. And basically he was saying like, hey, I know you you like the Somas, you you like Yuki and and all those people and that's cool, but... I want you to stay as far away from them as possible which was confusing at first and with his kind of cold personality it seemed like he hated uh toru but in actuality we we realize his uh his past when he was with his girlfriend um they fell in love he had the same type of attitude toru does which she was very accepting of the soma powers and stuff like that but when she ultimately wanted to marry hatri um akino was just not having it so much so that she injured hatri and the girlfriend just never forgave herself after that so much so that she went into a depressed state which then kind of forced hatri to erase her memories of all the times they spent together so she can go live her life with someone else so he basically just doesn't want that with um with toru i why did i forget her name for a second but now we're back um we have a new found appreciation for hatri and a new found hatred towards akino until we find out Ak akino's like true like reasoning for doing that um i don't know she may she may be in the right definitely in the wrong right now but I guess we'll find out later. So without further ado, let's get straight on into it. Make sure to support the original content as always. All right, let's get going in three, two, one, and go. Nice jacket, nice jacket. Hanging out at your grandpa's place for New Year's? Well, that's what I was planning to do. Don't. But it turns out he and the family are going to Hawaii. Oh, did they not even invite you? Does that mean you'll be staying at Shigure's house instead then? Christmas? Um, I'm still working up the courage to ask him. Oh, is she gonna be a part of the whole like New Year's festival then? I wouldn't dream of imposing on the two of you for the entire winter break. If you're not down with staying fine. at one of our houses, we could always grab your tent and take a little New Year's trip. Wait, is the tent okay? It's It was part of the rock slide. Oh, well, it's late. <laughs> it's gonna be getting dark soon. We My goodness gracious. Watch out, that's a street. I've seen way too many people get hit by cars in anime. <sighs> Again? Why do we even have to bother replacing these stupid things? <laughs> you really having that much fun cleaning the deck? Yep. Gosh, there could be splinters, ah. I honestly don't think that Toru Honda experiences the world the same way that other people do. She does not. She accepted that we change into animals like it was no big deal. Just watching the rat just walk with two feet. Hey, Shigure? Mm -hmm. Would it possibly be okay if I stayed here in your house for New Year's? Hmm. Of course, but is that really what you want to do? I mean, yes. I'm staying here too. I wonder why you guys chose to stay. Listen to how unreasonable they're being. These fools are <laughs> refusing to go to the main house for New Year's, and I'm sure I'll be yelled at. If we did return, we'd be expected to stay until January 3rd. In that case, you'd be in this house all alone that whole time, Miss Honda. Thanks sure, that'd, that'd be me. fun. But I would be perfectly fine here on my own. Yep, I agree with Toto. If it's such a big holiday for your family, you should absolutely go and have fun with them. Fine, then. Well, I guess that settles it. I'll go have to after that speech i'll sit make sure you don't lose each other in the crowds make sure you lock up you should check the windows too so wait toru can't like join in with the festivities like i know obviously she can't go into the like the special banquet she'll be okay i'm sure i don't know who's gonna show up someone's gonna show up ah oh, it was it was just freshly raked it's too cold to be barefoot it's been a long time. Shut up. Since I saw Yuki. 
what what is the what is the relationship between her and Yuki? Are they like related? I mean, they can't have similar hairstyles. Or said something about burglaries. There have been a bunch in this area. I think the criminal's still on the loose. <laughs> Crap, she's such an airhead. I bet she'd invite the burglar inside from the cold. She'll probably even fluff his pillow and serve him tea. That's fine. That's fine. Let her, let her enjoy the burglary. You could be killed. <laughs> oh, hi. I did not see you there. Does she always have to make a dramatic entrance? I mean, if you had a chance, I would do it. <laughs> We're on our way home to spend time with the rest of the family. I see. So she'll be utterly alone this year. Well, you don't have to say utterly. Arisa and I both offered to spend the break with her, but she just smiled that smile of hers and told us it was important to be with our families. Yep. She cares about everybody but her. Did we abandon her? How must she no. feel right now? My goodness, why is the door closing that quick? Wait, are you kidding me? Where are you off to now? I'm, I'm going, going home. home. Really? You too? Your dinner's waiting. Shut up. She gives an earnest smile to even the smallest things. Yeah. Does that mean we're not going to see the festival? The freak. I want to go home. I want to go home. Adorable. I want to go home. I want to go home. Right, right now. now. <laughs> we're home. Too? Adorable. About time. Hmm? You were the last one here, Sensei. Who the heck are you? Relax. I can handle Akito myself. Sheesh. How do you and here I was looking talk to Akito to last fight of the year? Calm so down. well. Don't you go breaking houses too? Don't you go breaking houses? Is he is he the ox? Who knows how Akito will react to hearing that those two are skipping? Huh? Wait, who's skipping what? Is someone not coming to the banquet? Who? Who? Good evening. That just looks uncomfortable. It's a pleasure to watch you reaping what you sowed. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Like, I get he's probably talking about the whole Toru thing, like reaping what you sow. But I I just wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's weird. Who's calling so late? Is it hot three? <laughs> Hello, may I ask who's calling? Hey, Toru, it's me. Oh, Chan, why are you calling so late? Is everything okay? I was worried you might be feeling a little lonely or something. You know, I truly am a lucky girl. Don't cry, stupid. <laughs> I gotta go, but have a good New Year's. <laughs> that was Uo Chan calling. Oh, no, John. I'll make sure you're my first phone call of the new year. I'll be waiting. I'm um, sorry, what? Did she, did she get the waves? I wonder how mad Kagura is. She's gonna come over tomorrow. Uh, uh, it's so much colder on the roof. Here. Please be careful. Yeah, please do not fall. Deep down, all I wanted. All I really cared about was greeting the new year at her side. Cute. I just want to say happy new year. Let's hope we all make it towards next year. This is the year I'm going to beat that damn rat! Uh-huh, sure. Good luck with that. <laughs> It's going to be a wonderful new year. All right. That was fun. You know, I'm so glad that they made Toru this person that is very easily likable for us viewers. Because if we didn't find Toru likable, then the the reasons for the reasons for Kyo and Yuki to do the things that they do would not make sense but because Toru is so likable we can understand why they're doing what they're doing so this episode doesn't really pose as many questions as previous episodes I, I really want to know the the relationship between 
uh, Yuki and Akino, and then Akino and uh, Shigure's. Like what? What? What exactly this whole like relationship is doing? Because it seems like the there's there's something between Akino and Shigure to where Shigure is um, able to talk to Akino and like convince her of doing these things and and you know talk things over with her and stuff like that. It seems like he has more favor over maybe some of the other Somas. Which could also be why he's he seems to be the only soma member that lit that does not live at the estate at least from what we know of right now but in this episode in particular we started to see a lot more comparisons um i, I actually i don't know if they would be considered comparisons but they brought up the the fact that um akino was was wanting to see yuki and uh, if Yuki didn't go, then it would make Akino upset and, or Akito, sorry, the T, not the N. Anyways, there was just a lot of emphasis on Akito being upset if Yuki wasn't there. In which I am wondering whether or not Akito is, um, well, I think they're all almost related, right? But maybe Akito is Yuki's mom? Or grandma? I don't, I don't know if she's like old enough to be a grandma. There's, there seems to be a closer relationship with Yuki and Akito than there is anybody else. And we don't know what we, we don't know it yet. But I will say that that thing that uh, Shigure said when he stared, was staring at Akito, you reap what you sow. That was just so like out of nowhere. I was not expecting him to say that. But it makes sense because he was talking about Toru. How she you know this was her idea of keeping Toru with the with Yuki and Kyo. So that was like a part of her plan for some reason. And right now it just backfired because now Toru was the reason why Yuki and Kyo didn't go. So it's weird because it seems like Shigure is is just cooperating with Akito in order for him to, you know, not have any conflict. But in his head, it seems like he has, I want to say hatred, but I guess he's just less inclined to do what she wants in, in his mind. Does that make sense? Shoot. I don't know. But anyways, that was my reaction to Fruits Basket episode eight. If you like my reaction, make sure to like and subscribe. If you guys want me to know anything more, the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.